this machine with cinematic A for the DSL CNC we're gonna see how to select the or trace the position on the axis uh, C and X or X and C. Uh, let's go to menu select diagnostics press the right arrow key select trace and here we are gonna do a new trace uh, we are gonna leave the proposed name session 0001 and it's gonna be NC and PLC variables. Okay, so now we have to choose the variable. And it's gonna be zero. We have um, different options. We have uh, global user data, PLC, PLC alert messages, uh, all uh, no filters, system variables, NC axis, channel, mode groups, and server again. So we have to look for uh, position, we're going to select position value measurement system one. You have two measurement system or might not have, depending on the machine. Uh, in this case we have two, uh, the directly or indirect. Um, Direct encoder, encoder is or the roll is the most close to the, the movement, and the indirect is the one that is on the second one. And if you're not confused with the, there is another term that is used, active or not active, is the one that you choose as a feedback uh, for the system. So we're gonna have uh, select this one. And here it's going to ask you which axis you want to select or trace. We're going to select XM. Okay. And now we are going to choose another variable. And it's going to be the same. Well, let's, let's do a post and encoder on each axis. So let's select the number 2, position actual value, measurement system 2. Again, the next axis. Okay. And now we are going to select the other axis. Position. Axis CM. Okay. And the fourth is going to be position number two. For the CM axis. Okay. So you can check the settings and uh, we're going to leave it in the compact flash uh, and we are going to change only the time, let's set this in minutes and you'll see it's going to use 16 gigabyte, megabytes uh, since it's a um, XML file, the one that we are going to use. Okay. So now we don't have, let me see the details. Here you have a sample of the, the, the data that you are going to save, and this is the position, so it's, that is fine, that is what we want. And then what you can do is to, once you run the test, what you can do is to save the trace. It's gonna be as a save one, session one. And then if you wanna review the traces, you can load.
currents. So in this uh, current position indexing is for the this check. There you go. For the CM axis. So in the, so you can open I don't have the <coughs> I don't have a mouse here, but uh, you may be able to open if you have a, a mouse, the column to see the other situation. But if you we check details, we're gonna see here the axis uh, is a current indexing position and the details that, that I see. So we don't have anything because let's uh, load the other one and see if we can save the trace. Okay. In the trace we don't have. So we're gonna run this uh, let me load the last one that we did and we're gonna run the forward test and capture this uh, signal and then view the trace at the end. Okay, thank you. By the way, when you see here the trace, you can start the trace from here. So, but now it's not the axis at the moment, so we will do that later. Okay. So now we are on a run the, the program. We have um, a forward test program and we are going to trace the, the signal on the color's position. Let's go to, again, to the diagnosis. We are in trace. Let's view the trace. We are really taking one, but the uh, base is tarry. And run the cycle. The machine is it's moving now. Let's hit again. Um, there is this is a cycle a circle that is being doing by so capture the bombards. So let's see the trace. If you open this uh, XML file, let's do it as save, save the trace. Uh, we're gonna save the variable settings and the trace values. In the same file. It's gonna be that one. Actually, I'm gonna copy. It's an XML file, and you can export this on Excel. So let's see. Okay. Check if we create a new one and load the one we just saved. Menu, menu select, sorry, set up, set up. Uh, I am raised on the system data and the, we say that we saved the, the, the data on the compact flash card, so we need to go to the system CF card 
producer, cinematic, HMI, data, and trace. And here we have the file. So what we can do is to copy the folder. Okay, and paste down until we see USB. And paste it here. Okay, that's all.